with a couple extra. So, you know, a win today for FaZe Clan means that they secure themselves that fourth position. And they'll be only a couple points away from Immortals. But again, the gap will start to widen as while we head into Villa. It's sunny Tuscany, at least on the... Uh, is it Sunrise or Sundown? I believe it's Sundown, whatever it may be. We'll start with INTZ on the defense, and they're going to go for the Monty ban early on to make things a bit easier for them as, yeah, we saw it before. There's been so much shield play currently. That Monty ban is basically going to be a, a natural one. The second will be Dokabi. Remove the calls, allow the defenders to roam quite a bit. So Face Clan preparing for their future. Mira will be banned. It leaves us with one more defender, usually an Echo or a Maestro, but sometimes the Pulse or the Valk Valkyrie are definitely big picks. And which one will it be? It'll be the Echo. All right. So, the Operator band's now done. Um, all standard stuff here. Uh, not Nothing crazy. The Montaigne being taken out. Really not surprising, especially what we saw on that last one. So the sun is over... Over, what was that? I believe that's south right now. So that wouldn't be. That one doesn't make any sense. Because it rises in the east and sets in the west, right? Pretty sure. Huh. I, yeah. We'll find out when we actually get the compass in game, though. You got me thinking about it, and now I was just, I was just like, huh. Literally I wanna, unplayable. I want to get into the match, and now I want to see where the compass is because <laughs> uh, it's just a small thing. But we're going to be going to AVG here to start things off. <laughs> and, uh. I, yeah, I. Remember, you're starting to call it AVG now. I don't like. Is there anything wrong with calling it AVG, Gasson? Because it's an it's an anti antivirus program. Oh, okay, cool. So we're gonna be going to AVG first to start things off, and it's gonna be uh, a standard yeah, site to start a defense on, and it's kind of northeast. In relative, so yeah. on the on the uh, picture that you have on the loading screen, it's kind of to the northeast. It is here as well. So I'm guessing it's a sunrise. Is this the closest we're gonna get here? But the intensity. It looks like a sunset, but it, yeah. uh, it, it's it's northeast, so it's about as far from a sunset as it can get, as far as I know, I think. Pretty sure. Anyway. All I care about here is the fact that this map now has been completely broken. You will never see it the same way ever again, and I will never, ever touch Villa because of that. Uh, what, because Unplayable. of that? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Unplayable. Well. Feet up and running. Uh, so we're going to be going to uh, standard site. We have the standard operator set up, considering the bands, which were very standard. Nothing too different about this match so far. But it's still early days. You could be playing on the Valkyrie, and he doesn't have an IQ on the other side to counter him. So because there's no IQ, these cameras are going to be so very powerful. Uh, it's the same thing for the Mute Jammers, really. I mean, usually on a map like this, you're going to have an uh, IQ and go underneath and find those Mute Jammers, shoot them. Easy peasy. We've seen a lot of that actually on Villa last couple times it's been played, especially in Latin America, where or the last time it was played, as you said, it was only been played once in yep. Latin, if I recall. Mm -hmm. And yeah, putting an IQ downstairs, shooting things from below, using that IQ uh, to your advantage is huge on this map, and it's not going to be uh, relevant here in this match. And actually, I believe it was EXT versus Rise, the match I'm thinking about, where that was so relevant. Yeah, that was in North America. Is, uh, mm -hmm. You're not really the case. You won't see a ton of IQ play in LATAM, but yeah. you know what? You got the next best thing. You got a Jackal and a Buck. And whoa, Intact, a bit aggressive here on the entry and won't find anyone as Astro will maneuver himself to deny any further peaks. In the meantime, the Buck of Mav should be destroying as much of the bottom floor as possible to open things up for his team. You only see two players from INTZ actually on this site. See, the others are fairly far away. There has been no bedroom take for FaZe. A, usually a linchpin, a way that you usually take to come into the site from multiple angles as tunnel vision attacks have not really been too Bomb successful by on Aviator Games Room. And Boar will put himself in the classical hall, AKA 90, destroy drone, and then fall back. Keeping their opponents on their toes. Drunk's taking a lot of damage from Mav, but Mav will uh, take a bit as well. Yeah, yeah definitely Drunk's uh, coming out a little bit underneath there in that engagement, but still, in terms of time management, not been so great so far from FaZe. They have yet to really do anything, and they're down to the last minute. And that is the story of this round so far. No roamers to be cleared out, really. Uh, and those that do exist are on the north side of the building, not being pushed into by phase as the attack is coming exclusively from the south. 
Mav is downstairs, but he's not going to contest with anybody. So this is just going to be a very interesting last 30 seconds as we come down to a five on five push. Yeah, again, there's only two players from INTZ on the side, inside of Games Room. That is, the Habana will open up the side of the wall here from the hall into 90, and even more of the floorboards being destroyed from below by the attackers. Yuna will peek in, and we'll see that there's nobody in there, and right in front of the Zofia, I'll get one, and Cameraman will find a second. Drunks will find one before getting quickly dispatched here, the headshot from Yuna. Yuk comes in, denying Astro, but the diffuser in the hands of Cameraman on the Jackal. Going for the plant in the back by the bar. C4 is oh, no. get thrown in from Yuk, and oh, that's all it took. Wait, what? You were out of what? He didn't, it wasn't planted? No, it wasn't planted. It was being planted, and the C4 denied the plant behind the bar. What a play there from Ince to salvage the round, very narrowly avoiding defeat. Oh, man. That was wonderfully done by the Valkyrie. Mm -hmm. But cameraman should have started the plant way earlier. Yeah, uh, well, I think that mostly comes down... The, the result of that round mostly comes down to FaZe's poor time management, but also great information thanks to IQ being there, or not being there, and the Valkyrie being there. There was a camera in sight, constant marks, constant calls being made on the inside of things, and an easy round for them because of that information being gathered. Um, FaZe were definitely winning it out on the fragging front, but, uh, yeah... They, they didn't manage their time very well, and that has been the story of today, hasn't it, Gasson? Yeah. I mean, from Nip Pain to Immortals BD, now on Phase Ints, every single one of these rounds has gone down in the last 20-ish seconds before the attackers start pushing the site. Every single one. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Correction. When we were on Oregon, there was one round that we did not get to watch because we lost connection to the clean feed. Very true. Uh, where the Montaigne was in sight with a minute left in the round. So that, there you go. Technicalities. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure there's been a couple other rounds that that haven't been going, that haven't been super fast, but they haven't been super slow, rather. But uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a weirdly slow day for Latin America. These attacks, timid again, is the word I would use to describe. You have to wonder why, is usually these attackers are getting a lot of information before they go in for their assault. All the utility has been set, and then everything just kind of breaks down once they start having an advantage. It's a combination of, again, a few mistime, mistime plays from the attackers, but then information being gathered by the defense that was just, just enough to win it out with some personal skill. It makes it so hard to, like, look at it from a attackers. strategic mm -hmm. position because it, it almost none of it comes down to the strategy that either team is trying to employ a lot of the utility just falls by the wayside useless and you know, it it just comes down to this you know kind of bar brawl type fight at the last couple a seconds of the located. round that is really disinteresting but that is as it is, I mean, it's weird because we often see it go the exact opposite way, especially with Latin America. Usually they have some of the more, more of the aggressive uh, starts to rounds that don't like... I mean, we've been talking about stuff that has nothing to do with this round for half of the round now. Why? Because nothing's happened yet. FaZe Clan are still on the balcony outside of Master, trying to get into Master with a minute left in the round. Yeah, and uh, look, they got in. Yeah. They have something, and they're going to try to impact trick the Excaros. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. You only clean up the top part of them, but the angle has already been opened up, so the rest should be just a done deal. And there you go. They'll have both other sets of Excaros opened up by the Habana Moringa. Yuna's already come in. He's going to try to use that opened up hole to his advantage. And looky here, 50-second mark. What does the Zofia do? Astro comes in from the study try and push in from the opposite end and pinch the defenders by the statue roof. Yuna's leading the wrong way here, so he could miss out on a kill here from the Legion, but he'll correct that mistake. Moringa coming in to get the barbed wire. Smoke's going to go for the cover. 
Faze still have people far afield, but uh, hunting down the roamers is currently Astro's job, but he will lose out the fight to Duds on 90. Clearly poor information gathering there on the Faze side of things. With only 20 seconds left, Faze will attempt to push into the site, and the Diffuser is going down. Moringa is being covered by Yuna, allowing for this to happen, but he's not doing a great job as Intact is able to take out the Planter Leaving just a three versus five, make that a two versus five. You put Yuna in the grave, and it's just Mav and Camera on the push. Camera gets one, but can't find the diffuser in time, and FaZe will lose another round to time. And well managed uh, waiting from Ince. That is the strategy that Ince employed in that round in the previous round. Yep. Waiting patiently. Yep. Yeah. Specifically on the first round, it, it did come down to. Some some sick information being relayed back to the Valkyrie. However, in this round, it was 100%. Hey, is <laughs> let me look at my watch in the meantime. I'm going to sit on this comfy chair in Villa and wait until all of this crazy stuff just kind of subsides and stops happening. The total interaction between these teams in that round came from Master to Statuary and Astronomy. That is the extent of the interaction apart from, um, I believe it was Super Astro in um, 90, 90 dying to yep. the Jaeger. And that was essentially him throwing away his life. Yep. Why? Because no FaZe had not droned out the entire south side of the building. So essentially he was trying to clear with no information, uh, which was foolhardy. Um, so apart from the master push, that's all that happened there um, for FaZe, and all of that happened within 40 seconds. Yeah. The and last 40 seconds of the round. It, that, that was it. And really, I want to compare this to other regions. But I don't think it's about the region so much, because, I mean, business is weird for Latam, too. I know, but I want to compare it to other regions because they've actually played Villa more than twice. Fair. Because this way we can try to explore what other teams and other regions would do in this sort of situation. What they usually do when it's a take into statuary is that they also will clear out the opposite end in games room efficiently with two or three players because nobody's going to really push you in bedroom. They're going to leave you in there and just leave you boxed in because, again, defenders have time on their side. You're the one that's going to have to make the move on the attack. When you don't push in from those different angles, then, of course, the time is going to be on defender's side and it's exactly what happened. Nobody could push them out of the, uh, of the hallway and they were just... they just stood there. And it's a similar thing for the very first round. Nobody came in from bedroom. I do think a big part of this is indicative of uh, the lack of the lion. I mean, I, it's it's really shifted the meta, and the attackers are certainly struggling right here. Another thing you'll note is that Dokubi has been banned two of the three matches we've seen played today. Um, Ying being banned, the other one. Although Dokubi wasn't used in that match, it's definitely a, a factor that the attack has lost out a lot on those global abilities. Uh, Intact is going to get um, the first kill of the round. It's going to be on a Mav, so soft destruction out the Attack way or out of the way bomb. for uh, Ints, and that's going to be definitely very useful. A oh. run out from the Valkyrie will be shut down by Moringa. Curious decision making there from uh, Yuke. That's going to essentially give the kill that Ints managed to get uh, specifically Intact earlier, right on back in, fa in Faze's favor. So I'm sure they're very grateful. Yeah, it's, it is a big kill on the buck, but you also lose out on the C4 from the Valkyrie. And because FaZe are bringing the uh, Jackal here, they're going to have an ability to, well, just use the ATA to, AT, ITA to destroy parts of the floorboard. Again, it's not something that you're going to destroy the whole bedroom with, but you're at least going to fire into default positions to give you angles on any players that are below and also combo it with the Inox. At least trying to run away from utility here. The Zofia will find the second kill the round, taking down the Capcan, who also will lose out on Nitro Cell. That's the only two available for INTZ off. Intact will take a ton of damage. The smoke, no! Moringa walks on in and the smoke is right into him. Yuna gets peeked by the shotgun, but he's somehow still alive. Cameraman and Astro will get a kill each from above. Drunk's all on his own here have their to fight his opponents, but they've all dropped on down by the hatch. He's the last man alive, and they know exactly where he is. That diffuser should get set, but those holes, they work both ways, Attackers and they're going to try to use them. Diffuser. Unfortunately, the diffuser's already been set. No eyes on it just yet here for Drunk's. 
That hatch is going to get watched and angle himself better, but cameraman is ready. I'll watch the hatch and face clamp. Put the round on the board. Good job to phase their most efficient round yet. Some serious misplays being made by Ince to allow that round to go their opponent's way, but we didn't get to see a whole lot of them, unfortunately. The action in the site was pretty one-sided in the favor of FaZe. While the Smokes were able to deny the initial plant, uh, there was no follow-up from that. Moringa did die for naught, but uh, his teammates able to get those refrags. Well done to FaZe overall. And the biggest part, again, is their supremely superior time management compared to the rest of their attack rounds. They had 20 seconds left when that diffuser got planted, so that's... It's really serious efficiency. Even though, guess what? They lost the buck early on, but they were still able to salvage thing with, things with the Jackal, who ended bombs. up doing a ton of work. And that's why we always repeat this Jackal is a fairly underrated operator, and Villa is this map that really starts to bring him out. Back in the day, it was only Bank. Introduction of Villa really allowed a lot of teams to use that ITA to their advantage as well. So... We'll be going back to AVG. The second time. Last time we were here. <laughs> did, I, did he really yes, just? But a mistake. I know he's good, but. Ten seconds left. <laughs> That's. <laughs> Ubisoft, please get on that. Obviously, the spectator saw something. You got it. You got to deal with this, Ubisoft. You got to take care of it right now. <laughs> First, it's the misaligned lighting. Now it's this. Okay. Today has been weird. Man. It has been. It has been. It's just one of those. It's one of those days, I guess. Um. All right. Uh. So Duke trying to take a fight from Study Door again. I don't know how he gets away with it. Astro's gonna eat a lot of damage and just go back to lick his wounds. I. You know that door is almost always like when first thing that you watch that you check when you yeah. push into Study. I'm surprised that he didn't that you didn't just die. Yeah, he was trying to use the top part of the, um, the door to shoot down, but he couldn't even see the, um, the player that was in the back just because of the angles. And now you see the thigh here pointing out the, the uh, smoke in the back. And there you go. Intact will fall back into his precious vault. Just Jackal tracking in the back, getting info on your Roamer. And in the meantime, we'll come in from below. So, so far, it's very much a repeat of... One of our first rounds, and uh, the only difference here is that INTZ are pulling more bodies on the site to not lose it early. So I got a question for you. You casted yesterday's uh, yes. Latin matches, so uh, were they were they really quick? Were they were or were they like this? What we were seeing, what we've been seeing so far today? Exactly like this. Exactly like this. Really? Very slow. Okay. All right. Thank you. So yeah, I think it's a telling story. It, mm -hmm. I think there's something to be investigated with it there, but. Um, and in this match here now, and have a good position. Face Clan have been slow with their attack once more. They're using smoke grenades already, um, and they're not actually getting anything out of them. Only one smoke grenade left on Yuno. We don't know what's left on Jackal, but hopefully he still has some if you're a FaZe fan. Um, as we come down to the last minute here, they're still working at getting some walls open, but it looks like they've been impact tricked for most part. No, there we go. Oof. But it's poor yeah. Xcaro's placement for Moringa, and it doesn't matter if they've not been impact tricked because that's not a feasible entry for FaZe. They can use it, but it's not going to be very easy, and it's going to leave them exposed to things like this. You with the run out into study. Astro will go down, and that's a beautiful play, but it should have been punished. Nobody watching that door from FaZe, that's really their mistake. Yeah, two operators locking down one singular angle. C4 thrown into Moringa, and then swiftly finished off, and I believe that's the Fuser as well that is on the floor. You know, try to move in, but he's already being watched by the evil eye. Walk into Billiards as that's one kill for Intact. That's with a second map, though. We'll find two kills, but it's again 12 seconds on the clock versus the three, and impactless frag as Intact will find the last one on Mav and clean him up. INTZ, extra round of the board. Again, though, this is a fairly defense sided map, but it's very easy to tell that FaZe don't feel super comfortable with what they're doing. Those sorts of runouts, exploiting situations where FaZe should have someone watching their flank, should not be happening. 
not against a team like this. Yeah, uh, you should be, should have been punished twice. Um, the first time when he peeked the study doorway, and the second time when he peeked the study doorway. Uh, clearly, there's some miscommunication going on in terms of uh, FaZe's attack and uh, the angles that they're covering. Here we go. Adaptation by FaZe. Love to see it. IQ being brought out in the sixth pick to counter the Valkyrie. Definitely the right call. The Valkyrie has been gathering so much information from those cameras. Way too much. All for free. Yeah, and the Jackal be, will be missed, I think. Uh, but at the same time, you could do without him. I, I think the right call might have been the Ash, but you want to keep that soft destruction, especially this explosive soft destruction. So um, that's probably why FaZe decided to get rid of Jackal. Yeah, probably the right call for FaZe. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say. Yeah. So we'll see what Cameraman's able to accomplish and if he's able to get those cameras. But, uh, the cameras from INS have been primarily in sight, and, I'll, and I hear you wondering, well, why is that, Kickstart? Well, I'll tell you, because FaZe are attacking excruciatingly slow, and because they're attacking so very slow, INS know that what they need to put focus on is the site defense. If you have a camera and there's only 20 seconds left and the camera's in a position will make... Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, was that the balcony run out? How does he get away with it? Duds running out on the balcony, taking down the glass. Oh, and not punished. You hate to see it, man. It, do it doesn't even work in ranked nine times out of ten. Well, it, did, it worked here, and uh, that's the... That's a big mistake there from FaZe. Anyway, as I was trying to say, if there's a camera in sight, even if the IQ knows it's there, if you're going into a last 20 seconds attack into the site, there's usually not a whole lot the IQ's gonna be able to do about it because he's gonna be distracted by actually pushing the site and trying to take control. But uh, still, the IQ's gonna be better than not having one. And uh, cameraman gonna land some shots there on untacked and do, so little, do a little bit of damage. Yeah, both players pretty much exchanging an equal amount of HP. So Dud's just watching for someone. He, they basically want to use intact as basically this bait that uh, I said to shoot into, and the mute jammer will get shot down and ADS as well. Exactly what you were saying there, Mike. Use the IQ. In the EXT Rise match, we were seeing a whole bunch of this, and it's uh, I think a big part of how Villa is meant to be played. Uh, the vertical game is what uh, some of the teams that are more used to this map will take full use of. So it's good to see Camera doing just that and getting a whole lot of utility. And now setting down the Excaros, starting to open things up to enter the opposite. And in fact, grenades here don't really do anything, so... It was too low. Yeah, that, that's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're good, man! <laughs> Super Astro's gonna take down Yuke, but he's been put on low HP, and uh, it's nice and even here, 4-4, four, four, and even even on the HP side. Yep, still the wall. Okay, the impact at least destroyed that. It, yeah, it got the impact got the rest of them, so. He was just like, yeah, we're gonna lose him anyways. Might as well destroy him myself. Intact still in the trophy room, watching for any pushes from the bedroom, as nothing has come up just yet, and Boar watching for the Ashes Duds. We'll find him, the Jaeger successful in the gunfight. Mav will have to find another strategy here with the squad as they're in a 3v4 and they'll have to go and run in for a plant. Mav will Ooh. find one kill on the drunks. One player in the back, the C4 thrown in and will connect with Moringa. Cameron will be forced to pull this one off. Mav will find one, but it's Cameraman with the last two. A lot of time there on the board for FaZe as they round up the fifth round and put it on the board. Cameraman using it perfectly as bait as they both run in. One was already downed and the mute was shot. Round number six now, last one on the defense. Two rounds in the attack is already all right. You put a third one on the board, you're sitting pretty. It's a 50-50 at the half. Um, that was a pretty incredible clutch there from FaZe. Yeah. You got to say, uh, Camera and Mav doing some amazing work. Big thing there was Mav managed to cut off the rotation. He didn't get a kill in Astronomy. He got a kills, two kills on Astronomy stairs. Both of those defenders were attempting to rotate back from the bottom floor. Well, not the bottom, the middle floor. And Mav managed to cut that off. Seriously, props to him. That's impressive. On top of that, Camera Managed to down somebody inside of Trophy. Follow that up with a bait and switch Attack using the diffuser to get the bomb. kill on that mute. Because he knew the C4 had already been expended. 
And because of watching that C4 be expended, he knew where his opponent was. So great job to Cameraman and Mav. Seriously, excellent mechanics from both of those players to clutch that round. All things considered, FaZe have had an all right half. If they manage to win this one, they'll be sitting pretty. If they oh, yes. end this in a 4-2, it's still winnable. That's completely okay, honestly. 4-2 is like four rounds on the defense on Villa is really what you're looking for. You win only three, uh, your, your situation suddenly becomes a bit precarious yep. on the half. Yeah, double ADS is being set up here next to one another. And, well, you mentioned the fact that there's the AQ being brought by FaZe Clan. Those two might get shot down very, very swiftly if that FaZe choose to support that IQ win. That's free utility, Kassan. Hmm? They're giving it away. It's in a deep roam here. As you can see, playing by AVG, but the site is actually trophy and... I like that they're spreading themselves out here, trying to uh, delay phase as much as possible. But as we have does, seen many what? times, what? 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 Is that an M870 bandit? Yeah, it looked like it. As we have seen many times, phase attack primarily from the master side of things. But yeah, an M8 uh, M870 bandit. Quite interesting. I mean, you don't see it often. It does happen? Yeah. Last time I saw it was Dreamhack. Some Dreamhack Valencia. I just played Ents against Sumaran, which is like a not even CL French team. Hmm. Well, it is going to be attacked, in, intact playing it here, and uh, he's actually got a really good position, in my opinion, to use this shotgun, as of course he's going to be challenging the uh, doorway that's right next to his bandit tricking, his main priority being the bandit tricking, but he can now help defend himself, and that's that's nice. I, I like that setup there from uh, intact. It's good, good thinking, for sure. Clearing out the ADSs, but there are two to be cleared, and uh, Mav might lose one of his grenades because of it. Attack C4 will miss in its entirety, and no damage done at all. That is unfortunate. It's now going to be very difficult for him to trick this, as the ADSs have been cleared out. The grenade will go down. No bandit tricking, because the follow-up grenade, and there you go, the kill from Mav! Followed up by the kill from Astro, and now FaZe put themselves in a two-man lead. It's a pretty good start, and oh, what a shot from Boar. At least... Uh, some sort of buy from INTZ there to shut down the ash, but good mindset in the back to allow for INTZ to focus their sight more on that bedroom. As right now, FaZe just completely halt on the aggression. Drone in, get information before they decide on what to do, because they still have a decent chunk of time. Changing bags. Or trying to rotate back into sight stealthily, but he will fail. Drunk's playing those breach holes, just waiting for the push from his opponents. He's got a good angle, but as you can see, all three defenders are playing the same angles. Nobody in Astro, and as soon as the attackers figure that out, they will put a body in that room and establish crossfire. But it seems like they're not keen on even focusing there, as they all push their way in through Master Door. Slow going, Yuna sees his opponent, but cannot land the shot. Boar will hit an impact kill onto Moringa, denying the plant, which means Glass has to be the planter, the worst possible operator. There's no smoke in play though, so it might not really matter. You can see Drunk's trying to do some damage, and he will be successful at least in a little bit of damage, but Mav is able to take out Duds. The crossfire is working out great here for FaZe from the main hallway. The planter has been put down as well, so it's just Drunk's a boar now in the two versus three. They have to retake with the Maestro on such low HP, it's going to be difficult. Mav calls out Drunk's location and falls back. He knows he doesn't need to take that challenge, and he won't. Boar will eat a lot of damage there for free, and... As he goes for the follow-up, Cameraman's going to win that fight. Yuna his own, and FaZe take another round. Three rounds in the attack on Villa. That's a pretty good spot to be in. Absolutely. FaZe put themselves in a great spot, you're right. Um, uh, I think they've had the most efficient attacks we've seen through today. Uh, the first two attacks we were seeing, it looked like more of the same, like what we were like in the in Immortals BD match and the Nip mm -hmm. Pain match. Very slow um, arduous attack strategies, um, but FaZe has since picked it up, and they have managed to get three out of uh, six on uh, attack for Villa. That's good. That's really good. And now the question is, will Ints be able to pull out a similar feat? Well, I might be seeing the Twitch being put up here by Yuk. Uh, no, it'll turn into a six-pick to the glass. So 
We'll have very similar lineups, but this will be Aviator Games Room, the defense for phase Attackers plan. To locate and and they're bringing bomb. the Mute, the Smoke, the Legion, the Jaeger, and the Maestro, and it's not surprising to have this sort of thing. Pretty much mirror lineups to what we saw before, the Ash and INTZ. We'll see the setup form Face Clan. The big difference here for INTZ is that they're neither bringing an IQ nor a Buck. So they're going to have to rely on Ash, but mostly the Jackal here to destroy any utility from below. But that's also keeping in mind that they can't even spot any ADSs or Mute Jammers, etc. Unlike what Phase were doing with the IQ. And I want to say the IQ definitely helped things out for Face Clan in at least a couple of their rounds. They're able to gain at the end of our uh, attackers have recovered the diffuser attackers objective is to locate a bomb back here diffuser. cameraman continuing on all of his jammers have been set up and you're coming in now where will this take go will there be anybody from INTZ coming in through the bedroom that's the big question that I want to ask because you know not having a pinch from the opposite end when bedroom just allows for so much flexibility yeah I mean, I will say that FaZe had a distinct lack of uh, clearing the horizontal roamers when they were on their attacking half. Didn't matter what site they were attacking, they would always take the shallowest route. Uh, doesn't seem to be the case here for Ince. Um, and it worked out for FaZe because Ince was also heavily investing in that horizontal roam. So if essentially players that went um, unchallenged and were therefore useless on the defensive side. But here, not the case. Again, FaZe are roaming horizontally, Ince are trying to clear horizontally. Duds took a little bit of damage there, as you saw from the Mute. Right, intact. Trying to check if there's anybody in the back here of the bedroom. Checking an EMP grenade, destroying any utility behind the wall. And Drunks watching in with his Inox will verify that nobody has indeed been through the bathroom. We'll take control of that. A pretty good start here. And phase in the mean meantime, attackers have we'll located a bomb. Just use that uh, reading room, the office, to their advantage. Just fall back and try to use it as a longer angle to engage. And Boris still upstairs on the roof. Duds will move into astronomy, and now into trophy. Check for 90 as opposite end is being held as well by INTZ. Now they have the angles. They have the positions for them to assault. They need to take control of 90 before this push actually turns into a full-blown assault. And having the Havana will allow them, because there's only the Mute on the opposite end, they can definitely deal with that, with the Thatcher, to open up the the wall into the vault. And that gives them an extra angle to shut down rotations. Considering there were roamers from phase by Master, this has been pretty admirable efficiency, admirable efficiency from phase as they have managed to already clear out or rather, in, or as they have managed to already clear out the entirety of the roamers. Double impact here for Moringa. Pretty easy going as well, as you can see. Uh, not struggling at all with uh, holding onto that vault wall. Ince now up against a wall because they can't open one. And they have the smokes to work in their favor along with the glass. The gas canisters to counter the C4 as well. C4 misses though because the gas canisters are already in place. That's poor coordination from FaZe on that utility. Boar's going to take down Astro, so here we go. First kill for Ince. Mav is going to eliminate Yuke though, and Intact goes down. It's an absolute slaughter in FaZe's favor as Ince just try to rush into sight. Great hold out there from FaZe to get the round. Yeah, I want to say I think that started very, very well. They realized what the problem was and they try to solve it by entering from the opposite end. However, those impact tricks were wonderfully done by the smoke, denied the hole in the vault, and once you don't have that angle from the vault, guess what? You can't shut down rotations. And if you have one player rushing through the doorway or four, more often than not, you'll still lose. Doesn't matter. It was a rough round there, four ints, and uh, a complete lockout on FaZe's favor. Looks like we'll be going to Trophy as our second site here for FaZe, and not terribly surprising. Overall, I'm expecting Ince, because they cleared from Master, to probably try and clear out from AVG this time around, since they're uh, keen on getting rid of the roamers before they assault the site. Going to be interesting to see how they choose to attack the actual site then when they get there, because they don't have they don't have a Montade, for example, because he's banned out. Could be very useful if you're attacking Statuary from the main hallway. They do have the Glaz, but the Glaz have, has not really done anything, at least so far in this attacking half for Ince. 
Um, it's going to be a really tricky one for Inst to pull off. If they go for a master take, they could pretty easily get an execution in, considering the utility that they have at hand. I don't know. If, I, I mean, I expect them to do it considering the operator selection, but I don't expect them to do it because of what their preference has been in terms of clearing out the roamers. So we'll see. It's possible that Inst has gotten wise to what happened in that last round, which was FaZe didn't lose a single roamer, but Inst still committed to clearing the roamers. What does that equal? That equals wasted time on the Inst side of things. So that was a good job by FaZe and a poor job by Inst to, uh, well, be a little bit more efficient on their drone uh, information gathering. Speaking of poor job, I just want to highlight one thing. Yuna set up his evil eye on the glass. Which means if the glass is shattered, that evil eye is done. Yeah, I think so. I've never actually tested it myself, I but... I guarantee it 100%. But, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure if you put something on a destructible surface, and that destructible surface gets destroyed, if it's an evil eye, at least, it'll be destroyed. If it's a, bla uh, a, a Valkyrie cam... It just slides off. Yeah, it just slides off, falls down, and then hits the next surface. Yeah. So, guaranteed of your money back, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. That... that that might bite them later on, as that's the evil eye that's mainly watching the doorway from the bathroom. One evil eye will be lost here in astronomy, and you got to let it go at some point. Yuna holding off in the back by the desk, and nobody on the opposite end knows. Drone will come in, get some info on where his position is, but the window is also being held by Ian. Yuna's going to be a really big role here, holding on to astronomy, trying to do some damage. A little bit of a wide peak there. Very dangerous, but uh, he comes out scot-free, so not really going to be punished. That's been the story for both teams. Neither of the attacking squads able to really punish the defenders when they go for those wide peaks. At least, not often. Cameraman trying to hold on here, but does that... Uh, I believe the drunks have already been able to open the yeah, side of the wall after having destroyed one of those bandit batteries. And you see the shotgun of Moringa up close. He wants to use it against the Thermite. As he goes for it, C4 thrown right behind, and it will at least disrupt the Thermite for op from opening up the wall, but the cost of a huge bit of utility in the Nitro Cell unit is being flashed, and it'll require a cameraman to aid him, but he'll actually land the kill on Duds. He moves on in through the bathroom. The Ash being taken out. Attack taking a lot of damage, even dropped. Drunks though will find the kill on Mav all the way down through an open hole that he had already done with his Type 89. Astro will find one and Astro just turns around and gets shot down by Boar. Moringa still connects with the shotgun, taking down Intact, so he's now taken away, finishing off the Thatcher. Moringa is still alive, so he can fight the Thermit in the back, has the shotgun in hand and puts himself on the floor. Advantageous position for him to be in. Maestro Camera in the meantime, giving information yeah, on the go. opposite end. The Thermite spotted, but Boar will still get the kill out of it. Five seconds Five on the clock. To go. One versus two. Advantage for FaZe Clan. He's just try to push the Thermite back for as long as possible. No time left. FaZe will win off. Put a second round on the board here. The second in a row on the defense. Five to three. A complete back and forth round there, but ultimately FaZe managed to keep themselves in the man advantage throughout, always on top of those refrags. So good job to them for accomplishing that. But overall, Inst didn't really show any signs of life in that round, at least from my perspective. It seemed like whenever they would get a kill immediately, oh, FaZe is back in the lead, get a kill, and oh, FaZe is back in the lead because of those refrags being so present. Overall, again, it was a very much a lockout is the way I would describe it, and uh, not a whole lot to show for it for, for on the inside of things. FaZe Clan uh, are starting to walk away with this match, and you, we can safely say, I think, at this point, that it has to do with the defensive side being the favored one on Villa. Alright, have to set things up here. The Pulse, though. We haven't seen Pulse play so far here on Villa. And you know, you got, weird that. Yeah, you can definitely play from below quite efficiently, and this is to counter potential uh, buck plays on this uh, defense downstairs. Is exactly what's going to happen here. Two C4s outside of the pulse available, so it makes it three in total for Face Clan. And Yuna's going to set up some cameras here. 
to make sure that they know exactly where they're chucking up those fours. He is going to be up for the Valkyrie. Attackers this cameraman walks up, set up some of his uh, jammers just to make sure no drones can pass by from the back and gain info on the positioning of phase. As again, in my opinion, you look at all of this, three sticks of C4 and a Pulse and a Valkyrie. This is all about denying any take in bedroom. I'm noticing the missing IQ again, and with the uh, pulse in play on Mav, I mean, it's going to be even more of a factor. Pre-placed C4? Yeah, it is a pre-placed C4, so imagine if you had an IQ. Yeah. I mean, you've got a Twitch, as you can see, so at least there's that. But... Um, it's not as direct as having the AQ, of course, and yeah. at least it will allow you to, to take down those Valkyrie cameras that are going to be essential for FaZe, basically to just guide their hand up. This is such a weird match, man. It's a weird day. It's a, it's a weird day! Why? Intact is going to take down Moringa, uh, the smoke, as he just walks in through laundry. Exactly. Look at that. Crazy strategy. and. Uh, the Mute Jammer will be denying the Thermite Charge, at least so far, but uh, that could always be changed. Intact is going to take down another. That's Yuna, so two frags, and there's his third. Wow, look at him go. And how does he do it? He walks into sight. And there you go, a fourth for Intact. Camera coming up from behind, and there, oh, ho, ho, Intact, look at him go. Unstoppable. And a round for Ince. Because Intact knows how to walk into sight with the best of them. <sighs> this is fun. It's weird. Yeah, it's definitely out of the ordinary. Game changing. No, not really. More like shifting. It's a side grade. What? I mean, I it's different. It's it's yeah. weird and it's different, it's but it's not grade. I yeah, you could call it that. I, I wouldn't grade it at all, to be honest with you. It's just different. It's um it's been a weird day. And the what we saw there from FaZe was them not holding one of the most default lanes on the map. Uh, especially in a kitchen defense. There was no strategy employed by Ince. Um the Buck trying to come in there, I mean he just kind of walked in. You got a skeleton key. Yeah, he, I think he got one of his kills at least, yeah. with, at least one with the skeleton key. So but, but I think he killed the pulse in that position with like three or four shots. But the fact that it started off with I believe the smoke peeking out into laundry kind of didn't make much sense. I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure why he would be trying that sort of thing. I think he has those three things called toxic babes that he can throw in in the lay people. Ten seconds for. left. Yeah, so there's this whole. There's this whole chunk of Rainbow Six Siege. It's oh, really cool. Um, I'll tell you about it. It's called the Utility Game. Wow. Yeah, and so basically, uh, each of these operators, they spawn in with uh, gadgets and other forms of utility. What they can do with these is, get this, delay, disrupt, and deny. And do things along those lines with those utility, like C4s, gas wow. canisters. Yeah, and uh, apart from that, each operator also spawns in with a gun. And they can use that gun to shoot at their enemy and try to win fights. And if you can, if you do that enough, usually, you know, if, if three people try on one person, at some point, they're gonna come out on top, but not the case in that last round. See, this is why you were a pro player and I was not. <laughs> yeah, I know about these, these utility things, least, though, but. At least we know when you retire, someday, <laughs> we'll be a coach, there we go, it's done. <laughs> but. But no, that was a really weird round from base. Yeah. Is, is the is the point we're trying to get at? As um, sarcastically as possible. Yeah, as, as sarcastically as possible. Because we, and you know, honestly, it's partially our fault uh, that we got to that point. But it is, you know, it's been it's been a, it's been a weird day. Okay. Um, Astro gathering some information using his heartbeat detector and uh, just a little bit there as uh, he's probably managed managed to figure out that there's not going to be a whole lot of clear. It looks like on that side of the building. Well, in the meantime, the rest of phase are going to stick to the site. And Mav setting up his goo mines, a grenade thrown right to the side, at least allowing the uh, thermite to open up the wall. And Mav will choose to assault this. It's going to have a tight angle to play against anybody in the hallway, but nothing yet. This is a really dangerous play from Mav, but he's actually managed to find himself in a dreamlike position. Oh no, droned out. This is as bad as it can get. The impact's going to be able to clear out the uh, Claymore, and he might be able to make a play here, but no. Mav 
Ever smart, he's going to decide to stay safe, and that is the right call. Yeah, very much so. You want to keep those uh, goo mines up in check for as long as possible. More being deployed on the side of the entrance into Aviator. Mav will come back in as you hear Candela's going off. Yoke will just rush on in and no, he's too preoccupied to ch throw in an extra Candela. His three kills though will go the way of the defense. Two alive now for the attack as Drunks will find one with the L85. C4 being dodged. And the fusers on the floor being watched by the remaining players of FaZe Clan. Well, that's one less to worry about. Three as he dives right in. Wow, beautiful acrobatics, <laughs> but it's not going to be enough. This is not Sirkisole, unfortunately. And Drunks will get fired upon the remaining three as they all have sight and control on him. 30 seconds on the clock. He'll inhale some of the smoke, rush on into the vault, and instantly shot down by Yuna, the maestro, to finish it all off. Round number 10, the way you phase. Um, okay, so we saw the attack strategy come into study. I really like how they tried to go for not the bar wall, but because this is important, but they opened up the wall into B instead of A and they isolated B, they could have planted in B, but what happened, almost everyone from INS tried to rush their way into A after isolating B. I don't get it, Kassan, I don't get it. The Ying didn't Ying before she went into the site, she Yinged in the middle of the site and died because of it before she could get the Candelas out. Why not, hey, throw the Candelas into Vault, okay, isolate okay, Vault, okay. get your rotation okay. cut off, okay. plant the frickin' Diffuser. I just don't know. Just Another thing there, FaZe had players in the hallway the whole time, but they were challenging from the hallway door. Have someone play the angle. I don't know why you're not having somebody play the angle. Let's and be honest, no one will expect the Ying to just go in and chuck an extra Candela. No one will inspect it, but apparently FaZe will be ready to deal with it. Expect it or no, as they they did. They dealt with it. Ah, there you go. Mav doing the correct thing. Hey, Mav. Well done. The hero we need, but we don't deserve. Evidently. And it, <laughs> you don't deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mav. Not you too. Why? Mm. <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> Oive. Oy in, a, in a nutshell. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that aside, we'll we'll see the bandit already set up his batteries. And what do I and Zed have? Well, they have Yuk playing Thatcher in this situation. So easy to dispatch all of those bandit batteries. You have two ACOGs and play for Face Clan. Definitely a lot of firepower, though, for the clan. And look at that. Astro will take a lot of damage. Not sure who he was engaging with. Possibly the Ash on the opposite end. But Yuk, in the meantime, uncontested here in the bedroom, at least for just a second, as Mav will heal up Astro, bring him back up to full HP, pretty much. You know, watching 90 and falling back into the hall. Just having overall map control, it's a good spread here for FaZe. Yeah, FaZe overall coming out on, they're just inching their way out on top in this match so far. Um, and the spread, you're right, the operators, the utility they overall. They that toast. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> yeah, the guy, they've got a good setup here to defend this site. Two ACOGs would be very useful. Lots of long angles on this site in particular, especially if it's a master take. But intact is surprising us with an early kill in the main hallway onto Astro. I say early, we're halfway into the round. But all things considered, yeah, it's very early in this match. Cameraman's going to get the refrag though, and intact will go down. So here we go, phase fighting back, and now they have a good amount of control. No more kills for the fragger on Insta's side. Well, they should be able to burn the thermite charge from there. Okay. It's entirely possible. Yuna's uh, evil eye is oddly placed, but he might. No! No, he could! He could he have could. gotten it! He could. It has a splash range on but it. But he didn't go oh, for it. Uh, unfortunate that uh, he didn't try to shoot the edge of the exothermic charge that was available. That means the master wall is now open and it's going to make FaZe's hole just a little bit more difficult. But they've been in this position before and they've triumphed. This time it's going to be the duds to take out Cameraman though. And that's the flank watch for these players inside of the trophy site. Now have to adjust a little bit. Glass goes down on the floor. That's Drunks. Boar might be able to pick him up though thanks to the smoke that went down as Glass was hitting that floor. 
surrounded by attackers. Bring on the opposite end. Still has one more gas canister to use, but the flank watch yet again being shut down by yeah, Dutch Moringa. A long shot from the SMG 11. Find the head of Yook. Three versus two, but the health is fairly equal between the two sides. Here are the Alda rattling on in, but there's 23 bullets left. Moringa, another one on to Dutch this time around. No more smokes to go with, and Moringa again on drunk stats of 3k. Bork will take down Yoda and the double kill. Moringa goes down, and INT's head. They win round 11, and this can result in a tie, ladies and gentlemen. As we head to round number 12, our game so far. Go in the distance. What a clutch there from Boar. And honestly, I, I thought Moringa was going to clutch oh, it out. Yeah. Uh, he was getting kill after kill after kill with that SMG 11, but it just wasn't enough. FaZe Clan's coming so very close, but ultimately not being able to maintain control over the main hallway was their undoing. Good job to Ince, yep. keeping that sideways pressure up. If they had just attacked from Master, it would have been an easy hold for FaZe, but that was not the case. The fact that the Ash was able to pressure FaZe for so long, they lost the Bandit. And it was intact before the Ash, too. Mm -hmm. So it was all through the round from Ince, uh, pressure in the main hallway. Yeah. Then again, in that situation, the Buck was going up the stairs solo and droning himself in, which is not I a great thing to, to do. He managed to get one kill out of it, which is admirable. But you're right. He died right after because of it. Still, it did allow... INTZ to thin out face plan just a bit, so the flank watch was a bit weaker. It allowed the Ash Duds to do more work. We got two kills off of it before falling down. Admirable that Moringa put up three kills on the board to try and salvage the round, but in the end, it didn't even matter. And the Thermite of Boar was able to find two kills, one on the Maestro, one on the Smoke, to clean it all up. And hopefully Yuna this time actually uses that evil eye, because again, there's a bit of a splash on the ability there. So it can actually hit the thermite left. charge that's being set on. I mean, he had a clear line of sight onto the exothermic charge mm -hmm. from the uh, position. <laughs> I'm going to go home. I got a feeling. I'm like going to record it and I'm going to put it on Twitter to show everybody. Yeah, this is what happened. I want you to do that, Gaston, because I've never personally ever tested it out, but I think I'm, no, I'm pretty like I'm 90% sure that you're right. Personally, again, I have never tested it. But it makes so much sense, and I and I feel like I've done it before with something. Like, I I, I know I know you're right. It's just so weird that that it keeps happening. Yeah. So for if you're wondering what we're talking about, if you put something like an evil eye or a bulletproof camera on glass, if somebody shoots the glass around the camera, the glass will break, and so will the gadget, as far as we know. I, I, one thing I want to highlight is you used to see a ton of this on consulate when people set up in the console chamber. Um, because there's the you know the the glass windows next to it, and that's what that was the first time we saw it there, and you know you could see it with ADSs that were set up in those positions before, where they just break because they wouldn't fall off, unlike for example those uh, Valkyrie cameras. You know everything aside, yeah. with a bulletproof camera, you break the glass anyway. Why? Because it indents the bulletproof camera further into the wall, True. and uh, it means that it's harder to shoot the sides of the bulletproof camera. It's also harder to see it just in general. So why not? Just do it. Have a little bit of patience. Break the glass. Anyway, <clears throat> we're moving on. It's half of the round has transpired, and nothing has happened yet. Surprise, surprise. Ince has managed to work his way, their way into Master, and they have full control over the Master bathroom as well. All right. Here we go. Thermite on the Master wall. There we go. And successful impacts will miss for phase, and the Evil Eye clearly not in play this time around either. Oh, I love this bomb. flank play as well. Again from Duds. He moves up, and guess what? He's got intact next to him to, uh -oh. to help out. They have a goo mine oh, here. The opposite side of Phase Clan. And. Okay, he'll take a bit of damage from his own grenade intact, but at least that'll give him an entrance into Trophy. Drunk's setting up as he does have the Claymore in the back. And we'll see that uh, Evil Eye being destroyed in the back. Maf still trying to contest. He's got to help Yuna out in the situation because guess what? Yuna has to also watch the opposite angle. Astro will find one on the Dutz, and that's intact down. Flank watch now all out of play for INTZ. Yuk taking a ton of damage from a goo mine and smoke canister. Four with a lot of damage, at least hoping for a lot of damage to be done. The opposite end as he gets down on the floor, does the dinosaur, but time for Drunks to move on in all 
of his Gishmots are used up, but he has no rifle in hand, and Boar will find one kill. Tries to go for the second, but Yuna's ready for him. And the Alda will roar. Cameraman will find the last one, and that's all she wrote. Ladies and gentlemen, FaZe Clan put the victory on the board. The three points that they've been required. Oh, man. Was that a long game? It's 7-5. That Zofia rushed into that door without a gun. Without a gun. Yeah. This is another thing. I think they they heard you. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, utility. Oh yeah. <laughs> Overcommitment, guys. Too much. All right. Tone it down a bit. <laughs> Find out what'll kill you, and then draw it back a bit. <laughs> well, phase with the seven five, not a seven four. It says seven four there. It's actually a seven five. So ignore that. That's that's lying to you. Yeah. Um, but they there did. There you go. They did. Hey. Now it's done. So Thank you very much. It's a 7 5 for FaZe. And uh, I think a well deserved 7 5. They play it better than Ince, period. Yes. Full stop. I mean, uh, a big part of what why that worked out for me in, uh, is that FaZe saw the issue of the, how it was being defended and they decided to counter it directly. So, like, for example, Please. Ince running full anchors, they're going to attack from the side because they know that they. They aren't going to be able to do anything with the extra control. But when we saw Ince running the roamers, it was the same thing on FaZe's side. There would be two roamers horizontally. FaZe wouldn't bother with them because either they're not confident with clearing them out or they just don't think it's worth it. And instead, they're going to focus entirely on taking the site. Ince almost always had those horizontal roamers. When they decided to start bringing the anchors back, it did actually help out Ince a little bit, but it, it, it didn't matter in the end, and FaZe were starting, starting to really pick up steam on that attacking side. I was a little worried at the beginning of the match for FaZe because we were seeing Ince win two rounds in a yep. row off time because FaZe's attacks were very slow, but they quickly corrected that. Yep. On Great. the other side, uh, Ince really didn't have a very, very good attacks, period. No, I gotta say that was the one round that they're able to basically take, and that was clawing it away from Moringa, who almost had the whole thing in his back pocket and a close 4K on the smoke. But it puts us now on phase at nine points in total. They are on fourth um, so far in the standings, and Team Liquid have not played yet, which means they can take the number one spot in just a bit. Yeah, it's going to be Liquid versus Red Devils is the final match for today.